So you want to learn about production techniques and systems. Well, you've come to the right place. Welcome back to Design and Technology On Demand. My name is Charlotte and I make weekly videos helping you to succeed in your Design and Technology GCSE. I just wanted to say a massive thank you for anybody that has already hit that subscribe button as it does help my channel grow. When it comes to manufacturing systems, there's three that you need to be aware of. Lean manufacturing, just in time and flexible manufacturing systems. In this video, we're going to focus on the flexible manufacturing system, what it is, why companies use it and the benefits for using this type of system. Okay, so what is flexible manufacturing? The process could look like different workstations working on different pieces. These stations could be a series of machines that are working simultaneously, could possibly be interlinked, maybe by a conveyor belt or a machine that will be able to transfer one item from one workstation to another. These workstations could be performing jobs like drilling, assembling, testing, quality checking, putting into storage, or even actually getting it ready for shipping. So how would this work in practice? So we've just discussed how the process perhaps could look, but let's simplify this further. This process could be built up of three parts. The processing stations, where the machines create the products, the material handling systems, the conveyor belt or loading machine from moving parts between, and the center control computer, reducing the whole process to potentially one person controlling all machines, actions, and procedures. Okay, so you should have a good understanding of what the process now will look like, but let's actually relate this to a product. For example, a piece of jewellery. For the processing stations, we could potentially see six steps. 3D modelling, 3D wax, casting, assembling, stone setting and polishing. Each of these stages could be easily set up on six different machines at different stations. The material handling system would transfer each piece of jewellery to the next station until completed and ready for storage and shipping all monitored and controlled from a center control computer to ensure a smooth transition of information and machine function. Why is it called flexible manufacturing? So we've already learned that the system is actually capable of handling different jobs by different machines at different working stations, which then all form and come together as one item, product or part. The flexibility part comes because it is easily adapted for change. These changes could be increase in quality, material change, improvement in a part, new product part, engineering modification, processing changes, late material deliveries, and machine tool failure and machine downtime. How is this achieved? A flexible manufacturing system is created by having machines that are easily reprogrammable. For example, the previous lesson we looked at to what CAM and CNC machines were. If we take a laser cutter and we just want to change the material that it's already set to, we would just instruct that machine to do so. With this one change, it shouldn't affect the other parts of the process. So why do companies use flexible manufacturing? Some of the advantages could be reduced manufacturing costs, increased productivity, increased machine efficiency, improved quality, increased sister reliability, shorter production times, increased production amount, reduction in floor space use, reduced staff requirements, and reduced errors. However, with all the advantages, it's really important that we actually know there are some disadvantages. A high startup cost for equipment, system and training. It will also require a large amount of time to develop a complex system that will be able to run smoothly from one center control computer, which also makes it not easy to implement into an existing manufacturing process. Okay, let's make sure we've got some key takeaways from this video. So a flexible manufacturing system is a concept that ha can easily be adapted when needed. Typically, a flexible manufacturing system will be built up of three components, a central control, production machines, and material handling systems. Let's end this video with a question. Make sure you put your answer in the comment box below. What industry or product do you think would benefit from a flexible manufacturing system? If you found value within this video, then please do make sure you hit that like and subscribe button as it does help my channel grow. You may also want to check out some of my other videos that are in the link below. See you in the next video where we look into lean manufacturing.